Hello everyone. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for this person's near future actions toward you. We have forbidden fruit. Apology. We also have the seven of swords. And we have the ten of swords here. All right, so when it comes to this person's near future actions toward you, I see them reaching out with communication or at least wanting to. But some of you view this person as sneaky or deceptive. I feel like they're going to come in and try and tempt you with words. So this may be someone that comes in saying all of the right things. There has been an ending or a betrayal between the two of you, but I feel like this person wants to come in and apologize. They may confess something to you. They may tell you that they want to rebuild things after this ending or after this betrayal. But keep in mind, even though this person is coming in to mend things, I do feel like they're not going to tell you the full truth. They are trying to get away with something. Some of you don't trust this person anyway, though. Like I said, um, they're coming off as a as a liar they may even want to have a new beginning with you or repair the relationship but avoid talking about what they did to hurt you whatever they did to sabotage the connection or whatever they did to betray you they want to avoid talking about that so someone may want to come in and sweep things under the rug and just have a new beginning hmm. also for some of you there's someone that doesn't approve of this connection it could be someone that you're close to that doesn't really trust or like this person. Huh. But yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have self-delusion. So this person wants you to lie to yourself in regards to them. Someone may come in with lies in hopes of you not seeing things clearly. Some of you are no longer attracted to this person, though. It's also an unrequited situation. So whatever you put in, I just don't really see this person reciprocating it. And another thing is I feel like a lot of you operate out of truth and this person operates out of lies or deception. So things are not mutual between the two of you because... I feel like you guys keep it real, not just with this person, but with yourself. There may have been a point in time in the past that you were lying to yourself a little bit or ignoring red flags just to try and make things work. But a lot of you are no longer doing that. But see, this is someone that would prefer for you to turn a blind eye to what's going on in the connection or they want you to turn a blind eye to their deceptive ways so even if you were to catch this person up in a lie they would prefer for you not to say anything about it okay if you feel as though they're being deceptive or if you feel like there's some things going on behind your back this is someone that would prefer for you to be delusional about it okay hmm. So the two of you operate very differently. This is someone that may want you to wear rose colored glasses, but you guys are not in that energy. I feel like you just want the truth or you operate out of truth. Regardless, this person wants to come in and make things work. Some of you may have mixed feelings about it. Others of you are just no longer attracted to this person. But yeah, um, this is someone that's coming in wanting to rebuild a connection after they did something to sabotage it or after there was some type of painful ending between the two of you. Huh. Now, those of you that are dealing with this person currently, they're trying to avoid an ending, but there's something that they've been lying about. They may lie to you in regards to a betrayal. They may say they didn't do something when they really did. They may say they didn't say something when they really said it. Um, it's kind of delusional energy here. So yeah, when it comes to this person's near future action toward you with the magician card being here, this person may come in with communication, letting you know that they're still attracted to you. For some of you, they want to take you out on a date, but I feel like this person is gaining some type of confidence or courage to come toward you. 
when they do reach out with communication, um, they may send you a lot of text messages or they may want to talk on the phone for a long period of time. Regardless, this person has a lot that they want to say to you. For some of you, they want to have a sexual encounter with you. This is giving me energy of quickie sex. Okay. It may be passionate, but it's going to be quick. If you were to choose to have a sexual encounter with them, they may also express their feelings. Now, for some of you, they may come in with communication all to try and see how you feel. So it's giving me energy of someone that's curious in regards to what you're thinking and how you're feeling when it comes to them. I just see this person being a little manipulative. They feel like they know you like the back of their hand. So with the magician card being here, this person is going to use all of the resources that they have in regards to you to try and get things to work out in their favor. So certain things that they've said to you in the past that resulted in you giving them another chance or certain things that they've said or done that resulted in you responding in an emotional way they're gonna attempt to do those things someone is wanting to see if you're attracted to them and they're wanting to see how you feel about them hmm. they're gonna come in pretty quickly after a time period of being distant see look the communication is gonna be manipulative this is someone that knows what to say to you now it may no longer work on you but they feel as though they know exactly what to say. Yeah, they're wanting to reconcile. They're wanting to reconcile. But see, the problem here is that this person is very hot and cold. Also, this is going to be specific. Don't force it to fit. For some of you, there may be someone else that this person keeps going back to. So there are times that they come to you, but there's also another person that they keep dealing with. It could be like a sexual connection, a friends with benefits type of thing. Be careful of them coming toward you with that type of energy, wanting to have like a friends with benefits connection. Hmm. But it's giving me energy of this person wanting to return to you, but they have something else going on elsewhere. With the Three of Pentacles being here, they want you to compromise with them. I feel like this person is going to try and pick your brain a little bit. It's almost like they want to try and see where your head is at. They want to see how you're feeling, how you're thinking, and then they'll respond accordingly. So, for example, they may say something to see if you're still attracted to them or to see if you express some feelings. And then if you do, they may tell you that they want to try and make things work. Or they may tell you that they want to meet up or something along those lines. With the Wheel of Fortune being here, this person may be trying to change your mind about something. Hmm. They see you as their divine counterpart or they feel as though they were meant to meet you. But I don't trust this person's communication. I don't completely trust it. I do feel like to an extent, they'll be genuine when it comes to how they feel. But I also think that this person knows how to use words to get what they want. So that's what you're going to have to be careful of. They're going to try to change your mind about things or get things to go in their favor by pulling on your heartstrings or trying to get you to open up on an emotional level. They do love you. They're in love with you. And they may express their love. For some of you, they're going to come in giving you deep emotion. For others of you, they're going to try and keep it lighthearted. Just to see if you're still attracted to them. This person is going to present themselves as a king or a queen, but they're really a page. So this is someone that knows how to say all of the right things but when it comes down to taking action or when they have to stand on the things that they've said they fall short every time so they're gonna tell you things that sound good okay hmm. and when this person comes back in of course it's up to you whether you do want to reconcile with them or not for others of you you have a change of heart when it comes to this person you just don't see them in the same way 
for others of you that are wanting to reconcile, you'll get your chance, but you're going to have to keep up strong boundaries because this person is like a master manipulator when it comes to words. They know exactly what to say. And their intention is to try to get you to open up or they want you to feel excited about them again. Hmm. But yeah, the only thing I don't like is the manipulation, the lies, and this person wanting to avoid talking about whatever they did to hurt you. It just lets me know that they don't like taking taking accountability. So they want to mend things and they want to rebuild the connection, but they want to avoid anything they did to hurt you. They want to avoid talking about it. They prefer to just move on. So they're coming in with a tempting offer. Let's see what else comes out. Give me more messages, please, Holy Spirit, when it comes to this person. What in your future actions will this person be taking toward ideas when it comes to love? What near future actions will this person be taking for my viewers when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. Okay, so let's see what else comes out. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have strategy. So this is someone that is currently planning their next move. They're going to try their best to be clever. Something is brewing is right beside that. So if you haven't been hearing from this person, they're reaching their breaking point when it comes to reaching out, okay? It's almost like this person is a little bit overwhelmed. If you've been avoiding them, I feel like it's bothering them but they may be trying to pretend as though they're okay so this person is very strategic and the seven of swords is also about strategy it's almost like they want to try and get you back or they want to try to win you over but they want to avoid taking accountability for what they did to hurt you or they just don't want to talk about anything that caused pain in the connection so they do want to mend things but Anything they did to hurt you, they don't want to talk about it. Give me more. What new future actions will this person be taking toward my viewers when it comes to love? All right. So we have hypnotized. So someone is wanting your undivided attention. For some of you, they've been waiting on you to reach out to them. Or it could be that this person is waiting for the right time to reach out to you. Okay. But someone wants you to be hypnotized. Be careful about this person coming in trying to seduce you in any way, shape, or form. Hmm. For some of you, they've been trying to connect with you telepathically. We saw that in another reading recently. But yeah, someone's waiting for the right time to say something to you or to try and reach out. Or like I said, they could be holding out on hope that you'll reach out to them regardless Someone's going to try to come off as hard to resist or they're going to try to seduce you. Hmm. Give me more. What near future actions will this person be taking toward my viewers when it comes to love? Thank you. So we have passion and that card came out crossing right below hypnotize. This person's going to try and seduce you. Okay. They're lustful when it comes to you. They're craving you on a sexual level. We have angry at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, if you were to choose to have a sexual encounter with this person, they may take their anger out on you sexually. So this is giving me energy of really passionate sex or possibly even rough sex, like that type of energy. Hmm. Give me more. What new future actions will this person be taking toward my viewers when it comes to love? We have love activation. So this person is wanting to open up your heart space or they're wanting you to let them into your heart space. Hmm. 
I also feel like this person has gone through an awakening. They may be realizing some things in regards to you. This person could be hoping that you're practicing abstinence or that you're not having intimate encounters with anyone else. Huh. But passion came out crossing. So for some of you, this person may try to make things up to you by using sex or using passion in some way. But see, that's not going to fix things. There's some type of issue with passion. It's almost like this person thinks that sex will fix things. There's some type of issue here with that. It could be that some of you have lost passion for this person. Hmm. Give me more. What near future actions will this person be taking toward my viewers when it comes to love? They could be trying to... They could be trying to make you um, crazy about them by using passion, by using an intimate encounter. So just think of someone trying to hypnotize someone during an intimate encounter or them trying to make it where you are stuck on them or infatuated with them all by using passion. That's kind of weird. Is giving energy of them trying to get you hooked on them. And keep in mind, it doesn't have to be a, an intimate encounter. It could just be words. But this person is wanting your undivided attention. Huh. We have forever changed here. And that card came out crossing. So for some of you, this person will want you to think that they've changed. They may tell you that they've changed or that they're making some changes. But some of you view them as someone that is stuck in their ways. Give me more. What near future actions will this person be taking toward my viewers when it comes to love? We have lessons here. So they're going to try to shift your perspective. You are a wish come true for this person. Someone wants you to see them differently. They may even want you to see a different side of them. Hmm. Give me more. What near future actions will this person be taking toward my viewers when it comes to love? So we have shocking events. So this person wants to shock you, okay? They may come in at an unexpected time or they wanna come toward you in an unexpected way. So they wanna come off as unpredictable. Hmm. For some of you, when they reach out, you're not gonna see it coming or they could say something that kind of shocks you. It could be that they open up a little bit so someone's going to come in confessing some things. And like I said, it may surprise you in regards to what they say. Huh. Give me more. What new future actions will this person be taking toward my viewers when it comes to love? Hmm. So we have risk. And we also have bad intentions. And that card came out in reverse. So someone wants you to let your guard down. They want you to believe them, trust them. They want you to feel as though they're coming with good intentions. But some of you may feel like this person is too risky to deal with. I feel like they're going to make it seem as though they're laying all of their cards out on the table. That they're being open and honest with you. And to an extent, I do feel as though they will come with some honesty. But with the Seven of Swords being here, they're not going to tell the complete truth about everything. It could even be that um, they tell you how they feel, but they avoid telling you certain things or they avoid going too deep when it comes to emotion. But someone wants you to see them as someone that's worth taking a risk with. For some of you, this person could make it seem like they found out something about you or that they know something. If that's the case, they're lying. They may make up something. Let's get one more card to end the reading. What new future actions will this person be taking for my viewers when it comes to love? Okay, so we have unrequited here. At the top of the deck, we have work. 
That's one of the issues in this connection. It could be that this person wants you to put in a lot of effort. They want you to work hard to, to make them happy or to satisfy their needs, but they don't do the same for you in return. They may also feel like you don't feel the same way about them anymore. They may feel as though you no longer want to be with them. There's something that they're feeling, but they feel as though it's not mutual when it comes to you. But some of you have lost attraction for this person. Or you may see it as an unrequited situation. You may feel like it would only be one-sided. Even if you are still attracted to this person, attraction is not going to be enough. There are some changes that this person needs to make. And notice on this card, it says forever change, but it's coming out crossing. So this person, they may come to you as though they've changed. And for some of you, they may have made some changes, but it's not long lasting. There won't be any longevity within these changes because this card is crossing. So I feel like this is someone that makes changes for the short term and then they go right back to doing the things that they used to do so that's the problem they may even want to change but the longevity is lacking they always end up reverting back to past ways past behaviors but yeah overall this is someone that wants to come in and confess their feelings to you or they may tell you that they want to rebuild on a relationship they do know that they owe you an apology but for some of you they may try to avoid that or they'll try to avoid talking about things that they did that hurt you they are planning their next move to come toward you and this person is trying to come up with a way to get your undivided attention be careful about them trying to seduce you be careful about that, but it's giving I come in peace type of energy. That's what it's giving. And I do feel like this person wants to make peace with you or they may want to come in with like a peace offer. They have made some changes or they'll come off as though they've changed, but it won't be long term changes. That's the issue here. Okay. So the only thing that I really don't like is that this person may end up reverting back to past behaviors and they don't always tell the full truth and they'll avoid certain things that the two of you really do need to talk about okay so they want to mend the relationship without really mending anything they want to rebuild the relationship but they want to rebuild it on an unstable foundation and see that's where the problem lies so that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.